Hey, welcome to the Beer Garden. And regardless of what time of the year you're watching this video, it is a drizzly, raw, chilly, damp, late fall day here in the Beer Garden. One of my favorite times of the year to drink a solid German beer. And up this round is St. Pauli Girl from Bremen, Germany. And if you made it this far in the video, please hit that subscribe button down below. That'd be awesome. 5% alcohol, and I recently found out that St. Pauli Girl is not sold in Germany. It is a German beer out of Bremen. Apparently they violated the Reinheitsgebot, the German purity law, and were banned from selling their beer in Germany, so they export it all. Let's pop the top and see what we got. Again, I've got those two viewers who are just killing me over not drinking the cheap brews out of a proper glass. So here we go, I'll go ahead and give you a pour. I, and again, I usually drink the cheap beer out of the bottle or the can just to make it simpler for the video, but hey, I'm all about pleasing my viewers. So there you go. And what do I mean by a cheap brew? Well, this one came in right about $7.99 a six pack. And for a, uh, an import beer, well, that's not too bad. So time for the liquid to hit the lips, prost. What the? Brewed in St. Louis, Missouri. Got beer all over the camera. Now see, more and more German beers have been doing this as they got bought out by InBev, and I don't like this. I think it's deceiving. They make it look like it's a German beer. They usually put like original German recipe or originated in Germany. Uh, they've done that with Bex and they ruined it. Uh, Bex now brewed in the USA. Now St. Pauli Girl apparently brewed in St. Louis, Missouri. And I'm all for American jobs, don't get me wrong, but I'm all for German beer also, and I'm all for proper tasting German beer. And when you're brewing any beer in a different country, it, it completely changes the taste of it. Yeah, it says right there, see, original German recipe. Yeah, to me, that's, that's just, that's just wrong. Yeah, that's just awful. That's just awful. I realize Heineken is a Dutch beer. It tastes a lot like Heineken or a Heineken knockoff. It almost tastes like a Budweiser if a Budweiser was going to a German beer costume contest. Look at the bottle, please, before you buy it off the shelf. It really, you gotta inspect your beer, and I'm finding myself having to do that more and more lately. And you really gotta look at the packaging and really gotta look at the bottle or else you get surprised. That, oh God, this is awful. <coughs> this is like an off-brand version of a German beer. They've even changed the grill on the label. And I'm taking points off of that regardless of how it tastes. They're marketing it as a German beer. They're essentially saying it's a German beer. It's brewed in St. Louis, Missouri. It has a very, very cheap taste to it. Kind of like uh, the taste of a beer that you used to get at a college bar where you would buy a pitcher of it for like three bucks. And I went to the University of Georgia and I lived in Athens, Georgia for quite a number of years. I know cheap bar beer, $3 pitchers type of beer. And this is what it tastes like. I think it just took about an hour and a half off the end of my life by drinking that beer. Out of five stars, where do I give St. Pauli Girl, not brewed in Germany, but brewed in St. Louis, Missouri, five being a very good cheap brew. This has made me mad, I'm angry, I'm giving a one out of five stars. There you go. Hey, thanks for watching. Please comment down below and please also hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. Join our group on Facebook as well, A Beer Snob's Cheap Brew Review. It's a group on Facebook. And hey, it's a, uh, it's a nice late fall day, brisk and raw. Apparently I don't get to drink that German beer I wanted to. But hey, grab yourself a beer and cheers.